You know, I noticed there are several types of people in the world. One of the ones that, where there's a lot of in the world, is talkers. They love to talk. They love to impress you with lots of big fancy words, statistics, information, most of which they probably got off the internet or read in books or were told about, urban myths, whatever it is. Or maybe they even went to school for it. Maybe they actually got a degree doing this, you know, learning an online degree or something, or, or they went to, actually went to university or college. And that's my next point, is that that piece of paper, that degree, that fancy $20,000, $50,000 piece of paper that your parents are now in debt for for the next 40 years, hanging on the wall, or you're in debt for, whatever, is worthless nowadays for most situations. Most people don't care about degrees. You know what most people care about? It's not a degree. I mean, there are some companies who say you need that, but those aren't probably companies you wanna work for anyway. They're conservative and you're just working hard to make the big guy money, but you're not really. Anyway, so the point is, what most people care about nowadays, and most employers, and most anybody, is what can you do for them? Are you better than the other guy? Are you faster, better, cheaper, or more entertaining, or whatever it is? Do you have something that makes you better than the other guy? That's all they care about. When I worked in Hollywood and I wrote, directed, and produced my own two and a half million dollar motion picture, and I had 300 people working for me, some of which won Academy Awards and things, I didn't care what their resume was. Are you good at what you do? Are you fast? Are you efficient? Can I trust that you that if I let you do what you do, that I don't have to overlook you and that you're really good, you know, that, that you're good at it? Most people don't care about a piece of paper. I've hired people before that had fancy degrees and everything. You know, they talked a big deal. I have a degree in this and blah, blah, blah. And, and they spouted fancy words and they try to impress you with their knowledge and their whatever it is, you know, and they sit there and all they do is just sit there and optimize their computer day after day and they're not actually doing anything. I'm like, what, what are you doing? But okay, so the first type of people are the ones who talk. They're salesmen and you see them all the time. They try to wow you in with their fancy knowledge of words. And let's take the health and medical world. Okay, so they learned it off of some stuff they read off the internet or even if they went to medical school for it. Think about it. The medical field nowadays, more people die in American hospitals than all the world wars combined. That's in one year. You go to most doctors and you say, what causes this health condition? They won't know. They know how to cut out body parts. They know how to poison and drugs and bill you high expensive amounts, but they don't really know what causes the health condition itself. Just because you get information from an establishment doesn't mean it's the end all. The ones who really get results in the world. Okay, this takes me to my second type of person. The first ones are the talkers and the second ones are the doers. They get stuff done. They do things. They don't talk much. You know why? Because they're too busy getting things done. They are the craftsmen of the world. Whatever happened to the old craftsmen, the ones who, who learned something from their father or they learned it on their own because they loved it. They did it every day of their life until they became good at it. They became the best at it. And that's really what employers nowadays want, is they want somebody who's good at what they do, who's better than most people. They don't talk, they don't waste time trying to impress you with knowledge, they just sit down and they just start working and they get stuff done and they create something. At the end of the day, there's a physical thing that you can actually hold in your hands or somehow it affects the world in a way, in a positive way, that's better than what other people are offering. So that's really what it comes down to. Are you better? Are you faster? Are you cheaper? Or just entertaining? That's a craft in itself too, to be entertaining. Something that gives people some value. Talkers are salesmen. They want you to follow them, to pay them. You know, a lot of the, nowadays it's all on, all on the internet, right? So they want you to click on their thing. They want you to subscribe to them. They want you to, because they, you know, they lure you in fancy words. Well, this person must know what they're talking about. They're using fancy words. What do you really do? Anyway, so the point is, in your life, let's talk about what you can get out of it. Because, like I said, don't be wowed by the fancy, big-talking people. Look at the ones that are quietly sitting in the corner. The ones that aren't saying much. And do not confuse that with the third type of person. The third type of person, the ones that just sit there and do nothing. They're sheep. They're the sheeple of the world. They follow the talkers. They get wowed easily by blah, 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 you know, and they follow them, and they, but they don't get stuff done. I'm talking about the ones who sit in the corner quietly and get stuff done. That is, those are the ones that are gonna change the world. Those are the ones that make a difference. And that's what I want you to become. Find something you love so much that you do it every day, 
and you, you just can't, even if you're bad at it at the beginning, that's how, how experts become experts. They just do it every day. They trip, they fall, they learn what not to do, and then you get, they hone their craft until they become experts at it. And then the world knocks at your door because they want, the world ultimately wants craftsmen. They want people who are really good at what they do. And it doesn't matter what it is. You can be a writer. You can be an entertainer. You can be, you don't have to have something that's some big fancy, you know, you don't have to be a brain surgeon. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. Something that just is true from the heart and good at what you do. So again, don't be swayed by the talkers. And I know I'm talking now. I, I, I really don't like doing this. This is like, I'd rather be quietly just sitting there. I don't like having the lights on me. I like taking pictures and videos of Kara more than myself. I, I just, I'm, but right now, if you know, if you can find out, I can't wait till the world gets to a point where we can communicate without me having to open my mouth. That would be great. But anyway, in the meantime, just be aware that if you really want to look for something of value, either become that yourself or have a good look at the people that are quietly sitting in the corner getting stuff done. When somebody just talks, 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 talks really fast and throws big fancy words at you, back off a little bit. <laughs> really have a good look at that. People who get stuff done, they don't need to explain themselves. They don't need to validate themselves. They just get stuff done. So somehow I hope this helps in your life because that's what I'm about. I'm hoping to give you value in the world and how to really weed out the difference between the salesmen and the doers, the talkers and the doers. Because that's, I mean, I see this so much in my life. I see, I see friends of mine, I see people I care about so easily swayed into MLMs and things where they just get, oh, that person just sounds so impressive. They said all this fancy stuff and they wanted me to buy this machine and they wanted me to follow their program and they wanted me to go on this, this, this seminar trip and everything and I'm spending $5,000, $10,000. I'm going, ugh, stop it. You know, it's so easy to impress people with fancy words and numbers and statistics. But again, the stuff that gets stuff done is so simple. That's why in my book, which is free, Heal Yourself 101, you, can't, you learn the stuff that gets things done is the simple things. Get rid of the complicated stuff. Get down to the simple things. And what really heals you, what really gets you places is the simple stuff, not the complicated stuff. Keep that in mind. So I'll see you in the next video.